Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi and uh, today we continue with our topic of discussion and this is genetics. And uh, today I would like us to discuss one of the uh, sex linked, uh, one of the genetic disorders that is linked to the X chromosome. And that is color blindness. Uh, during the previous lesson, we mentioned two genetic disorders that are located on the X chromosome. And that is uh, color blindness and hemophilia. So we have color blindness. And the most common type of color blindness is referred to as the red green color blindness. And this is the inability, the inability to distinguish between red and green color by some people. So that is color blindness, that we are saying that the red green color blindness is the most common type of color blindness whereby the individuals are unable to distinguish between red and green colors. Now, this uh, trait or this color blindness is brought about by or is caused by a recessive gene. It is caused by a recessive gene that is located on the X chromosome. So you can see that this disorder is caused by the existence of a recessive gene located on the X chromosome. So now, when it comes to showing the genetic cross diagrams of sex-linked uh, characteristics or sex-linked traits, such as colorblindness, we do the genetic crosses slightly different from what we were doing before. And on this, we have to first of all identify, is this particular gene located on the Y chromosome or is it located on the X chromosome? So we write the X chromosome or the Y chromosome together with the gene that determines that particular trait. So we can have, for example, a person, you can say a male person, who is colorblind has only one gene on the X chromosome. that is recessive for this trait. However, for a female to be colorblind, she must have two recessive genes. So you can have a colorblind male is XY and 
and you can say that uh, n and the color blind female or woman is x x small n small n so that means that uh, let n represent the recessive gene for color blindness and n capital represent the gene for normal color vision so we have that is a normal man or a normal male is xy and then on the x chromosome we have capital n to show that that person is normal and for the normal woman she will be xx n n capital <clears throat> in heterozygous state the woman becomes a carrier a carrier of the defective gene of the defective gene but she has normal vision that is x x normal and then the carrier so this is a carrier woman or a female who is a carrier so basically all those are the genotypes that we can have to show that uh, a person is colorblind male <laughs> excuse me we have that a colorblind female we have that a normal man or a normal male xy capital so we are saying <laughs> sorry so we are saying that the uh, capital n shows the normal color vision and the small n shows the color blindness where there is the existence of both the normal and the color blind that woman is a carrier of course a male cannot be a carrier because the male doesn't have two x chromosomes a male has only one x chromosome so the male can only be uh, either color blind or normal <coughs> can have an example So we are told to determine, as an example, to determine the outcome of a genetic cross between a carrier woman and a colorblind man. Use the letter N capital to represent the dominant gene. So we'll have uh, the parental phenotype. So we have the man, we have the woman. Uh, the man we are told that uh, is colorblind so the man is xy and we are said that uh, the colorblind male is x small n y against a carrier woman a carrier woman is xx n capital n small <coughs> oh sorry this is the genotype just change a little bit so the 
the phenotype is the color blind man and the carrier woman so the parental genotype is what we had written earlier it's x y n and x x n small n so remember we use the letters to show the genotype and in this case we have said we must say whether is the man of the woman or the woman because this is a sex linked trait unlike the other cases where we didn't have to use the x y and x x the gametes so x n So we can use the punit square here. So we have the woman and the man. The man is X, N, and Y. The woman is X capital N and X small n. She's a carrier. So this and this, we have X, X normal uh, recessive, X, X. And then for the man, X, Y normal. And then X, Y uh, Colorblind. So this is the offspring genotype. So the phenotype, we have one normal son, one colorblind son. This is the normal son color blind son and then carrier daughter color blind daughter one carrier daughter of course this daughter is normal it's only that she's a carrier and then one color blind daughter So we have <coughs> the phenotype one normal son is this one color blind son, one carrier daughter, this, and one color blind daughter is that. So that is the genetic cross diagram between a carrier woman and a color blind man. So there is a chance of getting a color blind son and a color blind daughter. So the assignment, what is color blindness? To show the genotype of a carrier woman and a color blind man. And lastly, three, a man was normal vision while the woman was a carrier. Predict the outcome of their children using a punit square. We'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>